is a 20 minute full body chair strength workout for people with diabetes using resistance bands. And I've provided links to the bands and anchors that I use down in the description below. Before getting started, please make sure that your blood sugar is between 100 and 250 milligrams per deciliter and that you've watched the relevant safety and instructional videos posted in the description below. Let's start warming up with some knee taps. Seated in the chair, hold your arms out in front of your body at elbow level and bring your knees up to tap the hand on the corresponding side, alternating knees for 45 seconds. Next, we're going to move into arm swings. Swing your arms out to the side at shoulder level, then below shoulder level, and then above shoulder level. Alternate each version for 45 seconds. The next warm up movement is going to be slow chair squats. With arms straight out in front, begin to squat as low as you can safely go down to the chair or to a pillow on the chair in a slow controlled manner. Let's move into seated hip hinges. With our chest squeezed to the ceiling, cross your arms across your chest and begin to bend forward at the hips while keeping your abs braced, going as low as you can safely go while maintaining a straight back. Make sure that the upper back doesn't cave in throughout the movement. Warm our shoulders up, position your hands just above and outside of the shoulders. Begin to press your arms upward until the arms are fully extended, and then bring them back to starting position. Continue this movement for the next 45 seconds.
Now that we're good and warmed up, we can get started. We have five different exercises that will each be repeated one time. We'll go for 30 seconds on and 30 seconds of rest for each movement. Our first exercise is the chair squat, and there's a link to an instructional video on the, of this exercise in the description below. From a standing position, begin to squat down to the chair or pillow as low as you can safely go, and then stand back up. Repeat this movement for the next 30 seconds. The chair squat is a fundamental exercise for increasing lower body strength and improving normal activities of daily living. Our next exercise is the wall push-up, and there's a link to this exercise in the description below. If you're needing to stay in the chair, wrap a band around your upper back and grab the band with each hand. Begin to press the band forward at chest level. This movement is going to help strengthen your chest, the front of your shoulders, and the triceps and the backs of your arms. The banded row is next. Place the band underneath your feet hip width apart. Grab each side of the band with your chest in a proud position and trunk upright. Begin to pull your elbows towards the back wall and then return them to the starting position. Make sure the band is positioned in a way that you feel resistance throughout the movement. The row works the back, the back of the shoulders, and the biceps in the front of the arms. Our next exercise to target the shoulders and triceps is the banded press. This exercise works better for me whenever I loop the band underneath the chair, uh, underneath my hips. Grab the band on either side of the shoulders, just above the shoulders. Press upwards so that the band finishes just behind your ears and the arms are fully extended. exercise is the ab twist. Place your feet over one part of the band and then grab the other part of the band close to chest level. Now begin to twist to the side, keeping that band at chest level and then twist to the other side. going to repeat each of these exercises one more time with chair squats up first.
push-ups now. Next up is the row. is next. Finish off with the abs. done on finishing up strong, let's cool down with some mobility work. Stretch your left leg straight out in front of you and point your toes. Fold forward reaching your hand down the leg towards the toes. For each stretch, you should feel stretch to the point of tension without pain. Hold for 45 seconds. back up. 
stretch out the right leg, and repeat on the other side. Carefully bring yourself back up and sit at the edge of the chair. You may need to angle yourself to the side for this next stretch. Clasp your hands behind your back. Keep your chest squeezed towards the ceiling. Straighten your arms and begin to lift your hands towards the ceiling. the arms and now place the left ankle over the right knee or as close as you can get it without pain. With your chest squeezed towards the ceiling, lean as far forward as possible without sacrificing the chest position. Safely pull yourself back up and switch legs. Mm -hmm. 